Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm looking at animals in Africa. African elephant? They change habitat seasonally, inhabiting swampy areas during the dry season, then moving back to lowland rainforest areas in the wet season. They are the largest terrestrial organism, weighing up to 6,100 kilograms and standing four meters at the shoulder. Most elephants live in protected sanctuaries where they have sources of water and abundant vegetation for foraging. An elephant skin is two and a half centimeters thick in most places. The folds and wrinkles in their skin can retain up to 10 times more water than flat skin does, which helps them to cool down. They keep their skin clean and protect themselves from sunburn by taking regular dust and mud baths. Giraffe, it's a rare occurrence to see giraffes fight. Sometimes they have fair and honorable sparring matches with one another without any intent to injure. In a proper fight, an aggressive male will throw punches with the force of their large necks and can stab each other with their Aussie combs. Sometimes males are seen with broken horns or with patches of bare skin on their bottom, their back, all because of fighting. One of the most aggressive battles is when it comes to fighting for a mate. They will fight each other until one runs away or sometimes even gets knocked to the floor. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Great White Pelican It is one of the world's largest flying birds and is found in the shallow swamps of Africa. Their spectacular bills are Asia blue on the top and yellow underneath where there is a large pouch. The bill has a central red stripe and ends in a small red hook. Once they catch a fish, they force the water out but retain the fish which are swallowed whole. African Lion I'm going to talk about the Barbary Lion. They lived in the mountains and deserts of the Barbary coast of North Africa from Morocco to Egypt. They were eradicated following the spread of firearms and bounties for shooting lions. By 19th century hunter accounts, the Barbary lion was claimed to be the largest lion with a weight of wild males ranging up to 300 kilograms. In the early 20th century, they were sighted in pairs or in small family groups. When Barbary stag and gazelles became scarce in the Atlas Mountains, lions preyed on herds of livestock that were carefully tended. They also preyed on wild boar. Zebra. Each species of zebra has its own home area. Plain zebras live in the treeless grasslands and woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. The grevy zebra lives in the arid grasslands of Ethiopia and northern Kenya. The mountain zebra is found in South Africa, Namibia and Angola. Zebras will fight each other for mating rights or dominance. The males will attempt to bite the other's neck and legs and fights can last for a very long time. Eventually when one of the males is exhausted and falls to the ground, the other male might kick its competitor to death. Cheetah, they are not aggressive. During confrontation, the cheetah normally applies the flight mechanism as opposed to the fight mechanism. With its weak jaws and small teeth, 
It cannot fight larger predators to protect its kill or its young. Cheetahs survive well in wide open areas, hunting fast. They are lean, agile animals using their excellent sight and flatland maneuverability. They climb trees only casually and do not hide, sleep or eat in trees like leopards. Wildebeest When they fight, they face one another on their knees, foreheads to the ground, ready for combat. The bulls move forward to strike each other, knocking heads and horns, but will rarely become injured. Mountain Nyala They are an antelope found in high altitude woodland in a small part of central Ethiopia. They are shy and elusive towards human beings. African buffalo is strong and powerful, wielding a set of horns that can measure 1.2 meters from tip to tip. African rhino. Males and females spray urine to advertise reproductive receptivity. When sexually aroused, the female lifts and cocks her tail at an angle. The males sniff the female's rear end and genital area or urine using the fleeman response. During courtship, they both playfully nudge heads and joust with their horns. The male will mount the female from behind and copulation can last for half an hour or more. The male's penis is curved backwards allowing the characteristic rear-directed urination. South African penguin Like all extant penguins, it is flightless with a streamlined body and wings stiffened and flattened into flippers for a marine habitat. It is a pursuit diver and feeds primarily on fish and squid. The wild dog is one of the world's most endangered mammals. They can be found in northern Mozambique. Blue whale, the Mozambique Channel, represents a migratory route for Antarctic blue whales and other whales. Blue whales are critically endangered. Blue whales are the largest animals that have ever lived on our planet and they are found around the globe in all the oceans. Vincent's bush squirrel is endemic to Mozambique. Serval is a solitary carnival and active both by day and at night. Mongoose Mongooses, much like goats, have narrow, ovular pupils. Most species have a large anal scent gland used for territorial marking and signalling reproductive status. Crocodile The extremely powerful jaws of the saltwater crocodile are responsible for creating the strongest bite in the animal world. Their strong teeth can be up to 13 centimeters in length. These two characteristics and the animal's ability to hold its breath for long periods of time make it the perfect predator for hunting large land mammals. They lurk along the water's edge and attack in a violent lunge at any potential prey that approaches the water. Hyena Females are extremely masculinated and the genitalia of females are almost indistinguishable from those of the males. The clitoris is enlarged 
and looks like a penis and is capable of erection. Females also have a pair of sacs in the genital region which are filled with fibrous tissue. These look much like a scrotum but are covered with more hair than the male scrotum. Thus males and females look extremely similar. The female has no external vagina and must urinate, mate and deliver young through the urogenital canal that exits through the pseudopenis. Clans are matrilinear and females are dominant over males. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.